Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out at Lake Isabel, Colorado. The idea today is to do a little bit of fishing, catch some trout, do a clean and cook. So we're gonna go down here, catch some fish, bring it up to the campsite and cook them up. All right, hope you enjoy the video. We're just using night crawlers today. Got them on the hook there, delicious. You guys might remember Ross there from Outdoors Inspired. He's with us today. All right, let's cast her out. When's the last time you fished? It's been at least 10 years since I went wow. fishing, yeah. Had a bite. If it's a little perch, he's just nibbling on it. Nothing took the hook. Oh, I lost him. Yeah, definitely had a bite. Yeah, I did. We'll get something, even if it's panfish, man. All right, I got another bite. Like you said, there's a lot of perch in here, a lot of panfish. There's unlimited limit for, yeah, there's no limit for the amount of perch you can catch. So if we get 10 of those or, you know what I mean? That'd make a good meal just in that. But hopefully we yeah. can catch a nice delicious I, trout. I think we'll go home with some trout. Ooh, I got a bite. And here I am filming. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's still on there. I did set the hook. Oh yeah, yeah I got him. It's a little perchy. Looks like Shane's got. Well, that looks like a trout. Yeah, a little, man, a little, uh, a little stalker. Yeah, I don't have my needle nose handy, but there we go. All right, fish number one. We're gonna let him go. A little too small. This place is so overfished. I don't really get a chance to see what. Was set. Oh yeah, I got. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, it's a bigger one, dude. Yeah, that's a little bigger. Cool. Yeah, man. Another trout. Rainbow. Rainbow. Nice. He took my bait yeah. this one. He's a keeper though. <laughs> yeah. That's our first keeper. Well, buddy. Well, that's number two. That's cool. Did you get him on the I got him oh, on, cool, on the yeah. cheek. I always put them in and sometimes they won't swim away. So you pull them back and it gets water back in their gills. See that? Yeah, there was something wrong with him. Nice size yeah. though. Yeah. That's cool. He was probably like, like a foot. He was a keeper, but yeah, he just looked like he didn't look too healthy. He's probably a stalker. Yeah. A lot of the stalking, stalking fish aren't healthy. Ross has got a bite here. Cool. Did you lose him? Yeah, I lost him. Yeah, I'm just setting it too, too early. That's Ray's Eyewear, if you guys are interested. There's a link um, and a discount code, Clash25, right there, if you're interested in Ray's Eyewear. You've seen me wearing them in the past couple videos. They're actually really good. Lightweight. I really like them because they're lightweight. They float. I didn't even know that until Ross showed me here. They float. Looks like we have a little storm rolling in. So if uh, you see us running out of the rain, we saw it coming. All right. So we are having we are having luck. Holy sh! Okay. So we're having some luck with the worms, but I'm gonna try a little bit of this cheese flavored power bait. I like cheese. Everybody likes cheese. Let's put a little bit of cheese on this worm here. Yeah, everybody raves about that cheese power bait around here, so. Let's give it a try. I'm not a sponsor. Oh, he's a nice rainbow. That's a definitely the best one for the day. And he got away again right there. There he is, look at it. Put your, uh, put your worm back in. Oh. I think it was the same one. He did ex exactly the same thing as the last one. He's about the same size. Get him on land this time. <laughs> there we go. Same size. Yeah, these are all stalkers. Slippery little. There's plenty of these to be caught. There goes. Yeah. Ross got a tangle as well. I did the same exact thing moments ago. I'll give it some tension. I'll pull it. Just hold on to the string itself. It might knot up on you. You might have to cut it anyway. But all right, guys. Well, as you can see. It's actually just starting to come down a little bit. We got what, three fish on the stringer? We're probably gonna keep going because we have our rain gear on, so a little bit of rain. There, a, a fish just jumped in the water right there. Did you see that? There was a fish right there, it jumped. So this is the best time to actually fish when it's raining and cloudy, starting to get a little windy. We'll get some nice big fish as long for as there's you. there's no lightning, we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, if there's lightning, we gotta run for cover. There's nobody else on the, on the lake right now. <laughs> We're the only stupid ones. <laughs> Hope it's a big one. Oh, dude. Uh, that's, that's probably the biggest one here. 
That's the nicest one yeah. yet. That's totally a keeper right there. Right there in the storm, best time to fish. It just started, we're just getting bite after bite, man. Everybody else left. Right there, guys, that's what it's all about. Whoa. Nice rainbow trout. That'll be nice and delicious. Let's get him back in the water. Ow. Yeah, so uh, we moved camp up to a tree up here. Hopefully you can hear me, I know it's real windy. It's starting to rain out. We're right now under this uh, little group of trees here. Um, we did see some lightning off in the distance. We think it's gonna pass though, probably won't last very long. And as soon as it passes, we're gonna go back over there, get some more fish. And even if we don't, if this doesn't stop, we have a nice uh, cooler full of trout here. Yeah, we got five nice trout in here. This one here, I think is the biggest, probably about a 15 incher right there. So either way, we win. So here's how I fully fish. I haven't done it in a while. Basically you just split them down the middle, right up to the top here. And right here you can see there's like two little notches in the gills. Kind of get your knife in between there, you pop it off, and then you grab it like this and you pull the entire, all the guts right out. Kind of hold it like this. There we go. All the guts should come out just like that. And do you want to just, do you want to fillet them or do you just want to do it your way? All right, so for the big one, we decided we're going to fillet this one. The other ones, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut the head and tail off, gut it, and fry it just like that. We're going to leave the skin on for this fillet. So all I do is I go behind the gills just like this, cut down to the bone. Turn the knife like this. It helps if you press down like this. See that? With a sharp, sharp knife, this will just blast right through it. And right there you have a fillet. You just do the same thing to the other side. Very easy. It's not necessary though, as you'll see with our other cooking methods. Really, you can just throw the entire fish on a fire after you gut it and eat it like that if you really wanted to. We're just doing it the fancy way here. Or you can just eat it raw for big ones. <laughs> you can eat it raw. These smaller ones, we're just gonna go ahead and split them like this. There's like a line of blood in there. It's good to just press down with your fingernail and just clean it out of there. And then really you could just cook them just like this. You don't even have to cut the head off, but Really, there's nothing to it. It's kind of important to have a sharp knife, though. It makes things a lot easier. This is probably the best way when you have a small fish uh, to, to not waste a lot. If you try to fillet it, you're gonna lose meat. Yeah, you have to work around the bones when you cook it like this, but it should fall right off the bones anyway. Just gotta be careful when you're eating it. But this is probably the best way to do it. Yeah, we're just carving out a little shelf to cook on now and just rotting it away. So we have a little, little a lot more stable for the cooking pan set up. If you find any grubs, we'll throw them Ooh, in. there's an ant. <laughs> He's trying to get away. A carpenter ant. Very lightweight. Don't have to haul around a big old piece. And the screws on like that, and it's ready to go. Got some old bay 
Old Bay seasoning, garlic and herb, which is pretty good when you have fish. You could put a good amount of this stuff on there. It's gonna get both sides. Those are ready to go. Nice. Oh yeah, I hear the sizzle. Sounds good. Young pine needles give it a little extra flavor and makes it look nice. The chicks dig it. <laughs> How do you like our little setup for the for the propane tank? I carved a hole in this hollow log. I was trying to level the log out and it was hollow, so I just made a hole. And it works perfectly. You know, stick a knife in there to keep it stable. Let's take a look at it in the pan. Nice. You see that? I just found this on the ground. Coors, the scourge of Colorado. Not a sponsor. So yeah, this is smelling super good, you guys. It's, I mean, I just dumped a whole bunch of butter in there and just firing it up, man. This is good. Old Bay seasoning, some garlic. That's just about done, buddy. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, we're about ready to eat here. All right, that's why we kind of score the top of the, the the backbone of the fish because when it cooks, it, it just kind of peels right off of the the skin like that. So you're just left with meat. Yeah, yeah, there it is, guys, right there. Some rainbow trout. Got some rice too. We'll throw on there in a minute. Even got some fancy, you know, pine garnish, and that stuff is edible. You can make tea with it if you want. There we go. Catch and cook. Rainbow trout, Lake Isabel, Colorado. Long day for this little meal, but man, it smells it smells real good. Another meal well earned. That's for sure. Mm. Oh yeah. I like this glaze, man. I think we did it right, buddy. Yeah, so if you guys have never done a catch and cook, if you guys have never been out fishing and just cook it right there on the river, I highly recommend it. It's very easy. Of course, for us, it was a little bit tougher. We're carrying all this camera gear around and everything, but without the camera gear, this is like, I mean, this is awesome, dude. <laughs> Be happy to do that. Yeah, man. Don't get much better than this. I can live here. I can live here. Makes it taste 10 times better, too, when you catch it yourself and cook it right, right there. Yeah, it does. Save you days. And we didn't eat or anything. This is like actually our first meal all day, pretty much. Well, I had breakfast. I had an amber night for breakfast, but this is second. Yeah, this is pretty much the main meal, too. Yeah. And it's exactly 6 p.m. right now. We started at 11 a.m. So, yeah, definitely awesome. If you guys enjoyed this catch and cook video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to check out Outdoors Inspired, his, his version of this video as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Dad.
Swallow, tiger swallowtails right there. That doesn't be a monarch. Not a monarch, but orange and black. Yeah, these are called tiger swallowtails. 